In this video, we're going to look at calculating interest earned and final values for uh, some investing problems. Taking an obscene amount of money, $75,000, if we put it into an account that earns 8% interest that's compounded monthly for five years, what's going to be the final amount and how much interest will we earn? Well, we gotta make sure we understand what the right formula is. We're talking about compounding monthly, so that's going to be discrete events as opposed to continuous compounding, which we'll get to later. So the formula is that your final amount is your principal times one plus R over N all raised to the NT, all right? So we're gonna find the final value first before we can find the interest earned. So my final value A is based on $75,000 invested and then one plus, so remember the one is 100%, so you're still gonna have $75,000 plus all these little increments that you keep getting from earning interest. My rate is 8%, so I need to write that as a decimal, so 0 0.08, divided by the number of compoundings per year. So if it's compounded monthly, that means there are 12 months in a year, all raised to the, let's see that's 12, and T is five years. So this is what the formula looks like. So even though you're earning 8%, you're not earning 8% each month. You're earning 8% divided by 12 each month. So it's a smaller percent, but you are growing every month, which means the next time you earn interest, it's going to be on a larger value than it was previously. Now we just have to go to the calculator. Either a graphing or a scientific calculator will work. You just have to make sure that you type things into your calculator correctly. So I have 75,000, make sure you type the correct number of zeros. Parentheses, one plus 0 0.08 divided by 12. Close the parentheses. Now you've gotta be careful about this. Depending on how you, you have your calculator set up or what calculator you're using, when you press the power button, so when I press the power button, I can't even see it, right here. So mine is just doing the little carrot symbol. Right? Some of your calculators will actually raise up and do a superscript. I've kind of turned that off because I don't like that. It's not what I'm used to. I need to make sure that I do my product in the parentheses the right way. So I'm going to do parentheses 12 times 5. If I put parentheses around the 12 and the 5, I get a completely different answer. So here I have $111,738.43 when we round correctly. All right, so $111,738.43. Now let me show you what happens when you don't type this into the calculator correctly. If I just do 75,000, one plus 0 0.08 divided by 12, raised to the, if you just do, um, suppose you do parentheses, and you do parentheses 12, close, and then parentheses five like this. So now you've got $406,000. And you may be thinking, well, how do I know what sounds appropriate? Well, you can do a calculation of simple interest to get an estimate for like the bare minimum interest that you should earn. And the simple interest calculation is taking your principal times your rate, times your time in years. So it tells me that a rough estimate for how much interest I should earn is $30,000. So $30,000 plus the 75,000 I start with gives me 105,000. So the 111,000 is not really that far off. And it makes sense because of the way that compound interest works. You earn interest and then you earn interest on the previously earned interest. But when I look here and I see this answer of 406,000, I mean, that's not even in the same ballpark. You're not even playing the same sport at that point. So this is my final amount. The other question was, how much interest will you have earned? All right, well, we can take our answer, 111738 and subtract off the $75,000 initial investment. So this is your final value, so that's one answer. And the interest earned... So the interest earned was 
$38.43. All right. Let's look at our next question that we have. The next question is investing $38,400 in an account that earns 6.2% interest that is compounded continuously for 93 months. All right. So here's what we know about this. It's compounded continuously, so it's not discrete events. So that means it's a completely different formula. And the formula for uh, continuous compounding is the amount is equal to P times E raised to the RT. So remember, E is that Euler's constant, and it's a special constant just like pi. You've got that on the calculator, no problem. So my amount, my final amount, is going to be $38,400 E raised to the RT. So my rate is, make sure you write this correctly, 0 0.062 times the time. Now here's where we run into issues. This says 93 months. But when you use time in these interest formulas, you're talking about time in years. So we've got to convert that from months to years. And this isn't anything that you need to do off on the side. The calculator is going to do all the work for you. So you take the 93 and you divide it by the number of months in a year. So 93 divided by 12. And again, the calculator is going to do all that for you. There's no need for you to type this in and deal with any kind of rounding errors. All right. So let's see what this guy looks like. 38,400. Now over here you got the ln, so we've talked about logarithms. Um, this is a special logarithm we're going to get to later. So if you do second ln, you get the e, the power, and the parentheses. So I can do 0 0.062 times, now I've got that fraction to deal with, so it's 93 divided by 12. Again, I'm going to let the calculator do all the work for me. And here's my answer. So my final amount is 62000 Eighty-eight dollars and twenty-nine cents. And so there you have it. Just throw it into the calculator and you get your answer. Now, even though the question wasn't asking for it, we could also find out how much interest was earned. Just by taking this value and subtracting off the thirty-eight thousand four hundred that we initially invested. So the amount of interest earned. was equal to $23,688.29. So as long as you've got the right formulas, and you've got a calculator, and you know how to use it, using those parentheses correctly, you shouldn't have any problem with these questions.